So you can see I'm in this lovely U-Haul. I feel like I'm having some sort of obsession or secret love affair with U-Haul trucks. <laughs> I've rented like half a dozen of these things in the last six months. In the last few years over my travels. But here's the thing that's funny and I thought I should share is uh, about five or six years ago I decided to stop living my life based off of what I perceive as bullshit. <laughs> what I perceive as not real. What I perceive as an illusion of a life. So in all of that I decided to start living for real. I didn't want to live based off of numbers and credit scores and fake accomplishment based off of my performance or compliance with somebody. Oh, I got to turn, so I might be crazy. So, yeah. Uh, I chose to stop living that way. I chose to stop basing my life off of numbers and stuff. Uh, off of credit. Stop living based off of uh, debt. That was the biggest thing was debt. I was tired of feeling like I had to get up every day and pedal that cart to live my life. And that's the truth of it. That's how it is for everybody. So if you're not, if you're not independently wealthy or if uh, you got to get up every day to go work a job in order to maintain your way of life, then you're a slave. <laughs> you're a slave to some sort of system because, unless you love it. I mean, if you love it, if you get up every day and you love it, then great. Maybe you're not a slave, but from my perspective, most of the world is. So, a few years ago, I decided I didn't want to live that way anymore. I didn't want to live like a slave. I didn't want to have to get up every day and pedal that cart in order to be alive and feed my kids and live the life I want to live and have time and free time and do cool shit, go on vacations and such. So, I left. I slowly but surely have left all of it and I live my life for real I live my life with real money that I have made real money that I have exchanged my services for or my goods for I don't live off of credit I'm living for real so in living for real I chose to let go of the credit system I chose to leave having a mortgage and living my life based on a mortgage and paying a bill every month and uh, so I let go. I let go of the mortgage and car payments and all the things that kept me pedaling a cart every day, getting up, working off that dollar bill. I left it all and started living for real so I worked my ass off, I saved my money, I sold goods, I did a lot of things in order to establish the life I'm living now that I call the ultimate human experience. And here's the thing, you can do anything you want. You just have to decide it's what you want. That's what you're gonna do. So, I'm driving this big, beautiful U-Haul now because in leaving that system of credit, fake, fakeness, artificial life, I also left credit, credit scores, credit numbers, and credit cards. So I have cash, I have an account with cash in it my dollars, my money that I made. I have a, a bag right here, right here on me that has my bank card in it and cash that I have made. However, I don't have any credit cards with credit scores associated with them and money that I haven't earned. I'm not living off of a promise. I'm living off of an intention. So giving up credit cards car rental companies and places don't want to rent to you. They don't want to rent you a vehicle because you don't have a credit card. And if you screw up their car, they don't have the assurance of the credit card company that they're going to pay you back. So they don't want to rent individuals' cars unless they have a credit card backed by a major credit card company who will pay for the vehicle if you fuck it up. However, I'm not intending on fucking up a car, but I do have money and they won't let me rent it. However, you all doesn't give a shit. You all will let me rent their trucks. I can rent a 20 foot, 26 foot, whatever I want. Now I can't rent their little pickup. 
because their pickup truck requires a credit card, not a debit credit card, not one from my bank, a real credit card. So they won't let me rent the pickup truck. But if I want to rent a 26 foot moving U-Haul truck, they'll let me do that. This truck is valued at like 50,000, 70,000, something like that. That little pickup's probably a $20,000 pickup truck, so it makes no sense. It's bullshit. However, that's okay. I see it. I get it. I know. And I don't let it stop me anymore. Used to, I did. I got pissed off and mad and let things like this stop me and hold me back from the life I want to live. I let them tell me how I was going to do it. I let them tell me how I could do it. And I was for a long time doing it by their way and their rules and their say. But not anymore, bitches. I find a way to do it my way. So if I want to move from Kansas to Colorado and I don't have a fucking credit card, so what? I can do it. I can find a way. I can make this happen. And I'm not going to let their dollars and their system and their credit slow my roll. So I'm here to tell you, driving this U-Haul, I just dropped my daughter off up in town in a U-Haul truck because my husband is out of town with our regular vehicle, picking up our other vehicles. So here I am, baby. U-Haul, U-Haul.